Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Fred Sutton and today in this video I'll be discussing depreciation methods. So in this video we're going to discuss three different depreciation methods. The three depreciation methods that we'll talk about is straight line depreciation, units of output depreciation, and then finally de double declining balance depreciation. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to walk you through a, a sample problem that I put together and that we will kind of walk through each of these areas and then figure out what it does and then we'll analyze that at the end. All right, so in the example here, we purchased equipment for $100,000. We are depreciated over four years. So that means we have four years of depreciation that we're gonna have on this. And we have residual value of $20,000. All right, and basically residual value also may mean that there may be a, that could also be stated as a salvage value or something at the end of it. So after the four years we depreciate, we will have $20,000 uh, value still left in this equipment. Now here I'll give you some information about hours of usage. Now the, this pertains to this portion right here and only this portion here is how much we're going to be using of that per the per year. So that's what we're going to appreciate. So then we're going to compare these and see how they work. Alright so what we have here let's figure out the appreciation for the for the straight line depreciation. One of the things I do want to figure out is what is the percentage of depreciation per year? So what we're going to look at here is how much we depreciate each year of our depreciation. So to figure that out, you basically just take a one and put it over the amount of years. So as you can see here, I have one over four. The four years of depreciation, put a one over that. So that means I'm going to do 25% per year. So 25% of what we're going to appreciate per year. All right. So with that, I can figure out how much depreciation we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 100,000 minus for my residual value of 20,000 and we can divide that by how many years. You can also multiply it by 25% this portion here. So that gives me 80,000 for years. That means 20,000 per year. And if I multiply the 80,000 by 25%, that also gives me 20,000 per year. So that's my depreciation for each of these years is $20,000. Fairly simple. And that gives me a total depreciation of $80,000, which equals my equipment minus my residual value. All right, so now let's compute the units of output depreciation. Now, as you can see, there's different amounts for each of those years. We start off with 25,000, or excuse me, 2,500, and then go to 1,500, 3,000, 3,000 the last two years. So what we want to do is figure out how much that is per unit. So as I take a look at that, to figure this out, I have a total of 10,000 hours that we are going to be depreciating, using as an appreciation. And we have, we have $80,000. So to figure this out, I will basically take this amount divided by 10,000 hours and that will give me $8 per hour. That $8 per hour here, I then will multiply it against each of these numbers to figure out how much we appreciate in each of those years. So I take the $8 times 2,500 which gives me 20,000 is the same as this one. Then I have 1,500 times the 8, which gives me 12,000. And then here I have 3,000 times the 8, which gives me 24,000. And that will be the same for last year. If I add all these up here, I have 48 plus 12 more gives me 60. That gives me 80. So I have $80,000 that we're depreciating. So obviously they, again, equal the same thing. It's just how are we depreciating these. All right, so now taking a look at this one here, double declining depreciation, we, as it states, we are gonna double. So what we're gonna do is take our straight line and then we multiply it by two. So that gives me 50% per year. So 50% depreciation per year. Now this is different than the street line method and the units of output method. The reason being is that we don't start 
with how much we're going to depreciate, because remember, the total amount of depreciation here is 80 that we're going to do for each of these. Same goes for here, but we start with the top number, as in the cost of this equipment. We start with that first. So we take our 50% and multiply it by the $100,000 instead of the $80,000. So it gives me $50,000 of depreciation the first year. Now, I have $50,000 of depreciation. Now in year two, I have $50,000 left. Right, because I, I had started with $100,000. We had $50,000 of depreciation, brought us down to $50,000. I multiply that by 50% again. That gives me 25,000. All right. Now I have 25,000 and the 50,000. That's 75,000 depreciation. That leaves me 25,000 left to depreciate, right? So we take that by 50%. No, not really, because remember what we're stopping at right here is the $80,000 cap. We stop at that point. So my last year here will be just the last 5,000 to get us there. And we won't have any in that last year. So as you can see here, we have $50,000 plus the 25 plus the five gives us $80,000. And that's how we come up with our depreciation using the double decline balance method here. All right, so as you take a look at all three of these, you'll see that we all, we ended up with the same thing, $80,000 all the way across in depreciation, but there's different values. And these different values are some of the reasons why companies may choose one over the other. As you can see here, using the straight line depreciation, it's uh, pretty comparable to what the units of output depreciation is in the first year. Uh, it dips down a little bit. This one's a lot simpler. This one changes a bit by how much we're using that. And then double declining, we take a lot of depreciation up front and then very little at the end. So we're realizing that depreciation expense early on. What that does is lowers our income. And so therefore we have less income that we are showing. Therefore, less taxes that we are paying. So that's one of the reasons why companies may choose this. So as you look here, these are some of, the, some of the depreciation methods that can be used. And I will also show some of some other videos that you'll see in the future. But this is the straight line method, very simple, consistent. Units of output comes, uh, provides you by the usage that you have, and the double declining balance depreciation increases that in the early years and then slows down at the end. I'm Dr. Fred Sutton. Hope you've enjoyed this video on uh, depreciation methods. Thank you and take care.